Good morning everybody, Olav here and welcome back to Let's Play Astroneer. So, uh, we have this unknown thing that we can research here. Now that we're back on our home turf here, uh, we will probably need to go ahead and do up some more hydrazine. Oh, we're not, uh, we can do power cells, that's great. Um, not quite what I was hoping for, of course, but, uh, all right, let's just go ahead and drop that in. That almost has us topped off. Now, uh, what was it that I was wanting to, oh, that's right, I remember what I was wanting to do now. I was wanting to take a look at... Is there a... Yes, there's a storage thing there that requires two compound. I thought we had two compound. Did we not have two compound? I guess we do not have two compound. No, we do not. All right. But we should be able to get two compound pretty easily. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep doing up some, some more hydrazine. Because we're going to need that in order to reach new planets and exciting stuff like that. Uh, now, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if that... I don't know if that storage will allow us to put... Uh, will, will allow us to put stuff... put to put more stuff on the vehicle. I don't think so. Okay, there's our two compound. Cool, groovy. We're just totally going to run cross country here. Because why not? There's hydrazine. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know if make another one real quick. Let's go ahead and make a storage and see if we can put that on our See, I think that's supposed to be just for, basically for like our, well, maybe not. Maybe we can put it on there. All right, that would be really cool if we could. All right, and we'll snap you on there. We'll take you... Snap. Okay, so see, we we haven't used up all of our hydrazine from that tank, and we can put another tank on here. Cool. All right, fine. You know what? We're going off into space some more, cause screw this, screw this noise. Like I said, though, I don't know if that will a lot if the. Uh, if the research stuff will snap onto that or not. Now we do have a Baron there and an exotic. Let's go to the... Wait, was that a... Was that like a... a, a... What is that? Okay, we'll go to the exotic. Uh, we will land... There looks good. It looks as good as anything else. I mean, you really can't see any detail in, you know, you can't really see any detail as far as the land goes. Oh, righty then. Well, 
time to go exploring. Looks like there is some serious, uh... Looks like there's some coal here, which is awesome. Because we could, you know, if we if we got a generator, we could do a generator. Okay, and that will not snap onto there. Damn it. I was hoping, but I guess not. Okay. So we could snap that onto there, but... I don't know if that's something that we've already researched or not, because I'd hate to... I would hate to bring back something that we've already researched. That... Uh, I know we've researched that. I'm pretty sure we've researched that. All right, let's head back to our rover here. Yes, I know, that's why I'm heading back. What we need to do is we need to we need to f learn how to make and then make a habitat. Because with a habitat, we could totally make a new base on a new planet. Uh which at that point, of course, we can say, hey, well, we're gonna, we are totally going to rock out a, a new, a new research facility, a new everything. Don't worry about it, buddy. I got you. There's a rumbling that I'm not happy about here. I am not happy with the, the rumbling noises that I am hearing. I don't know if that's wind or what the hell that is. That is malachite. That's just like a ton of malachite. Oh, wait, I think I... No, no, never mind. Okay. But I will take you... Because you're just oxygen. Okay, that enables us to wander out a bit further. Come on, give me something that I know for a fact I haven't already gotten. You are definitely new. All right, so now we want to run. Yes, so, okay, so new thing, awesome. I wish we could like bundle up some of our stuff. Like, you know, for example, we take our rover you know, we take our little, our little rover buddy and we say, hey, okay, we'll just snap that, you know, we'll, we'll take that with us to our new, to a new planet so that we can travel further. But maybe I'm just ho wishing for too much. Uh, okay, so we need to go back to the Terran planet. Oh, that's right. First we stop here, then we go out even further. And what is that? Is that the start point? Okay. I'm wanting to say, where is our home base? There's the radiated planet. Uh, I think that is it. I want to know what that is, because that's like saying, "Hey, there's this. There, there's a a vehicle of some sort." 
So radiated arid, which is not where we want to go. I'm pretty sure that is. But how did it get so far away from us? And how much fuel are we burning just sitting here waiting for it to come around? That slightly concerns me because it's like we might be burning a lot of fuel here waiting for that to come around. I'm pretty sure that's it because I remember that there was... It had a satellite. It had a barren satellite. I remember that much. And it looks like it's coming around towards our sphere of influence. I don't think it was that one, was it? What are you? Your tundra. No, we didn't we weren't on a tundra, we were on we were on a, a... Uh, I don't remember what the hell they call it. I'm, I am like certain it's that one. Which, yeah, it's kind of frustrating that I have to wait so damn long for this to come around again. While we're waiting for that, we're going to go ahead and take our break, and we will be back in just a little bit, so stay tuned. All right, so here we are. I do believe this is uh, back to our, our home base. This is the, the Terran... The Terran with the Baron Satellite. Yep, there we are. There's our buddy. All right. I had to hop to the irradiated planet in order to get here faster. Because I don't know if I was burning fuel while I was doing it or not. While I was there or not. But, uh, all right. So, let's take you... Over here. Put you down on there. Research it up, baby. Give me something good. Habitat. Yes. That's what we want, baby. Because, see, the habitat... Uh, wait, no. We... The habitat will enable us to make, will enable us to pop this little doodad here off and start making stuff. Habitat. We need two comp, only two compound for a habitat? Are you serious? That is like insanely cheap. And we're going to take our rover. We're going to take our rover buddy here. And try and pull everything, try and pull this train along. Okay, let's avoid the rocks. So, all right. We're just gonna farm up tons of compound here. All right, and we are going to take our backpack and we're gonna put some of our compound on our storage unit. 
Now, see, I do know there are, like, spaceships that you can make. Uh, which, basically, what those do is those those will sit there and be like, yeah, those, those have extra, extra spaces on top, so you can... You know, basically, you could put a vehicle storage unit on your spaceship and just take and blast off into space with that. Which means then, yes, you can put re put four research uh, research things on there. Basically, it's all about the 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 base size or the whole the 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 whole size or count size. You need four for a vehicle, uh, for a vehicle, um, vehicle storage. Base storage will work just fine with, with only, uh, with only two. So, okay. Make a habitat. Okay, now we are going to take our habitat here, and we're going to actually put it onto our... Onto there. We're going to take some of our... Resin... Okay, so that will make that. What was it for a... Uh, I'm trying to remember what we needed for a research. I think it was just compound. I'm pretty sure it was just compound. Which means we should be able to say, okay, take the compound. And we're going to go ahead and make some more hydrazine. Because that bad boy is almost, that that's getting kind of, that's getting a whole lot lower than I want to, to try and fly with. I think we'd be okay for getting to at least the barren place, but I, I really prefer not to risk it too much. Is there any hydrazine that's in obvious sight? Are you the same one that I just researched, really? I hope not, because if you are, I might be a little pissed. Why are you freaking out? Why? Is it because you're in a hole? What the hell, man? Where did you go? I had you picked up. See? Now you come up. There we go. Okay. Now you're behaving yourself a little bit at least. I don't know if that's the same one because I can't tell if it's pink or if it's white because I know we picked up a pink one that gave us our habitat but I can't tell if it's picking up the color because of the surroundings 
and therefore it's actually white or if it's or or what the hell is going on with it you can see we come over the blue and it's kind of I don't know it might still it might be more of the same we won't know until we slap it onto the research the research set thing and scan it. Also, make another thing of hydrazine. Nope, it was one that we already had. Okay. Fill up our little guy here. And I think we are going to go ahead and just blast off to the Baron. So if we say, boom, go up. And yes, I know I have two seats here, but you need a one-seater to get back. So if we have to come back to this one, we need a, we need a seat on here. And our habitat is going to be basically be used up. So yeah, we're going to go over to the Baron and see what the Baron has to offer us. And did I just fly through that? Really? All right, so we have a Baron moon and we have two landing spots, just two. And we should have hydrazine enough to get us back home. Okay, so basically what we do is we take this, we say plant you here, and we hit this little button here to say yes. Form a, you know, start a base. So resin, two resin, Printer, no. Fuel condenser, no. Research. Two compound needed. Okay. So now we have a research facility here that has no power. Now it's going to be... Now it's going to be filling up with solar. Okay, there we go. So now, if we find new and exciting things... To research, we can just research them right here. We don't have to go back to home base. We don't have to take off from this planet in order to research something, which is nice. I just hope there's actually something to frickin' research here. Because if not, I'm going to feel like a total and utter moron. Not that I don't already, but... But yeah, realistically, we could create a brand new base right here and just say, yep, yeah, okay, we're living on the moon now. Not that I would advise it because there's, you're not going to find a lot of the stuff that you need. You're not going to find a lot of stuff, period, it looks like. Jeez. This place is just effing barren. I'm curious. We're gonna try. We're we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give just running around the the the, the surface of the moon. I do not think we are going to make it. Whoa! That's where I die. Yep. <laughs> Okay. So let's try going off in the other direction. I think this is the other direction. Whoa. 
whoa, that's a big me that that's that's like a big something something heavy duty hit here type thing. All right, so we sh- we should be able to get Look, I'm going back, okay? If you would like, you know, kindly move. But yeah, that's like a a crater. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're like right there. There you go. See? At least my wind vane didn't disappear. I'm thankful for that. All right, we're going to check out the crater real quick. I think we're going to check out the crater because that looks... Is there anything left of what hit here? I do not see anything here. Well, at least they're honest when they say barren because there's like nothing here. I mean, we found one research thing, but I'm pretty sure it's something we've already researched several times before. Might as well go ahead and research it, I guess. Yep. Already researched. Okay. But... This, I think, was basically where we found it. Are there no cave systems here? Alright, we are going to make some tethers. Make some tethers, and we're going to get down to... There we go. Tethered up. There we go. See if there's anything like down in this. I don't know if there is. Doesn't really look like it, does it? I mean, in theory, we're gonna either A, run into some, into a cave system, or B, we're just gonna come out on the other end, other side of the, the planet. Nope, cave system it is, okay. Whoa, I did not mean to jump down. All right, there we go. What the hell are you? I don't know, but you're a new research f thing, so cool. Good on you. Um... All right, so we want to take you. I 
Ow! Eat! Oh, wow, that was stupid. That was stupid. All right, but we know exactly where we're going now. We're following this down. We're making sure not to just fall. Okay. Whoa. No, don't. Don't. Oh, god damn. What the frick is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? All right. I am determined we are going to <laughs> we are going to get down here and we're going to pick up that research piece and we're going to take a look at it. Even if it kills us. All right, there we go. We have it. Jump when I tell you to jump. Thank you. All right. So now we actually have something new to research and we have, oh, I don't know what the hell those, those spiky things are, but I do not like them. I really do not like them. They have killed me twice. I do not approve. All right, so research that bitch. What do you got for us? Give us something good. I would take a truck. Um, Thank you. All right, so now we can make a big ass truck, which is a possibility. We may go ahead and, uh, I may go ahead and blast back to our original base, grab the materials for making a truck and then come back. But that is gonna have to wait until next time because we are all out of time. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and stay tuned for more. From Olav Productions. If you want Cheerio! Crazy and also lazy, you should meet me and my friends. Or you. No money, you were a pig. Unbelievable. Like I just transformed this frog into a pig. No, you cured the frog. Drug called Spin. It was a hallucinogen similar to LSD. He becomes addicted and eventually dies from an overdose. 